We've come to Buckinghamshire to a company called RNA Engineering. Here's my friend Ed, and you've got Ed, you've got a, a wonderful big machine shop with loads of different kinds of machines. You must make a huge range of components. Uh, uh, welcome. Let's say we are RNA Engineering. Um, we're a family-run uh, subcontract engineering company. We've um, been operating for, for nearly 40 years now. We uh, specialize in uh, CNC milling and CNC turning, machining um, highly complex, high quality components uh, across a wide range of different industries from electronics, renewable energies, we've got components flying up in space, um, and we machine one off batch prototypes through to large batch production with automated uh, machinery for lights out production. Um, we've got 18 machines here on site um, from five axis machines, sliding head turning and twin turret, twin spindle and lathes. Brilliant. What do, what do you need out of a CAD CAM system? Um, so, well, you need ease of use on, on the software. Um, so, that's what we really, really like about EdgeCAM, how easy it is to use and also the multitude of different features that are, that are available with the software. Yeah, absolutely. Because you've got engineers here who run Phantom machines, high nine machines. In theory, a CAM system is another, another program to have to learn. Yeah, um, but also the beauty of it is, I mean, you can program on the software and then you can post it to any different machine. So you don't necessarily, as an engineer, need to know the, the coding on, on all the different controls. Yeah. That helps bridge that gap between the different machines. And I guess the benefit of a CAM system not only means you, you're agnostic to the machine control, are there more modern ways of manufacturing a component that might not be available in like a hide and hide cycle or if you had to program by hand on a FANUC machine? Yeah, well, with the different features that are available on the CAD CAM uh, software, um, you know, we can utilize, fully utilize those and improve the cycle times of the machining processes. So, for example, with the roughing and profiling cycles, um, we can make massive uh, cycle time savings. Yeah, and I've heard you've got a bit of a case study to show us, maybe? We, are, we do indeed. If you come over to the, uh, the Doosan, we'll, uh, we'll show you. Okay, let's go and have a look. And here we are at the Doosan, Ed. We've got, you've got a beautiful part in front of you. What is it? Um, so, this is a component for X-ray machines. Um, uh, well, we're always trying to challenge our engineers uh, to, to, to reprogram parts and speed up cycle times. And this is just one example. We're using waveform machining. So we're using full depth of cut on the tooling, at one mil step overs and rapid machining. We've been able to uh, save 15 minutes per component. Um, and that's a, a four hour saving across the batch. Wow, four hours is almost like to half a shit, isn't it? Well, exactly. Um, that kind of saving, you're obviously halfway on, on to the next job. Um, you can imagine how much with all that roughing, I mean, how you could save all that by completely changing just the roughing cycle, not even touching the finishing cycle, maintaining that power quality. And it must feel pretty good, not only to have like a monetary saving, but also for the engineers to feel good about making a real improvement. Well, exactly. I mean, when the engineers can see what the software can do physically, the, uh, the savings on the machine, they all want to get involved. They all want to learn how to use it. And they also get that feedback from the, that that cycle, cycle time improvement and they get more uh, fulfillment from um, you know, making those improvements yeah. and uh, building, their, up, building their own skills. Yeah, it must be pretty inspiring to be able to uh, learn how to use this CAM system. Let's talk a little bit about training. How do you make sure that if you have a new person come on or there's a new features available, you know that they're going to be able to get up to speed and stay fresh on the system? Well, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of, it's our philosophy to make sure that, um, you know, we try and train as many engineers as we can and, and try and upskill all of our uh, engineers. We don't just want to rely on one single programmer and HEX can provide fantastic support in terms of training. And maintain that part quality. And it must be brilliant for engineers to be able to have the power to make those improvements themselves and see them actually running on the machine the same day. Well, absolutely. Um, you know, it's our kind of philosophy to really build on the skills of all our engineers. We don't just want to rely on uh, one programmer programming, you know, various different components. We want to upskill all of our employees and EdgeCAM provide fantastic training um, around that. Uh, and so we can really build on the, um, the skills of our engineers, but also making sure that they're able to get the most out of the machine tool, most out of the tooling, but also the most out of the software and also the most out of themselves. And they get really good feedback on that and they, you know, the fulfillment in terms of their improvement. Yeah, but in terms of improvement as well, the machine shop's always changing here, making a lot of investment. It's a brand new machine I've heard. Indeed. Should we have a look? Let's go and have a look. Yeah. You said you had a brand new machine, Ed. You did not disappoint. Look at this, like a compact multitasking machine. Indeed. So this is our latest investment. Um, this is a, a Brother 5-axis machine. So it's got full 5-axis uh, capabilities as well as uh, turning capabilities on the machine as well. Yeah, and talking about needing uh, to use a CAM system to get the most out of your machine tool, uh, I guess you need to start with a really good post-processor. Indeed. So 
trying to program on a, on a machine like this, you need a, a proper head cam package. You know, you can't be doing any programming on the control. And with that, you need to make sure that your post is absolutely, is absolutely right. You know, you want um, pro programs coming out of the software into the control and making sure that they will run effectively and efficiently. Yeah, and what makes you feel confident that you could actually, you've got a good post for this machine? So uh, be the support with EdgeCam. Um, they provide an engineer coming on site uh, for one to two days, fine tuning the um, the post processor, making sure they you know it is fully working and the programs are coming out not just correct all the control, but they'll tailor it to to your needs to make sure that you know um, it kind of matches your your program needs. Yeah, absolutely. Since we last came, to, uh, covered a robo job a long time ago here at RNA. You've grown a lot. I mean, you, you first moved from three axis to four plus one. And then now you move to a really compact machine. Um, what is it nice about being able to grow as a business and invest in new technology? Yeah, so we're you know trying to make sure that we're well, we're constantly investing in uh, new technology and the latest machinery. Um, and you know the great thing about the software is that as we've been able to grow, the software has been able to grow with us. So we've been able to um, upgrade our software packages with the machine to suit the machinery that we have on on site. Yeah, absolutely. And this is a bit of a special machine. You can do five axis uh, milling, but also turning as well. It does have the turning capability on it. I mean, this is a brand new machine rig, so we haven't quite used the turning facility yet, but it's great to know that it's there and um, you know, we look forward to using it in the future. Brilliant, so that's EdgeCam unlocking the best out of your machinery, old, new, uh, for now and for the future.